This video is all about potting with side spin. Although this video is called potting with side spin, the best bit of advice I can give on this subject is don't. Side spin can be a very useful tool when it comes to getting out of sneakers, but when it comes to potting, it will invariably cause you to miss. It's certainly not something I would encourage beginners to do, and if you're going to use it, it needs to be done sparingly and only in certain situations. The first thing to remember is that there's usually a way of getting the cue ball where you want it just by using the range of shots from screw back right through to topspin. For example, if you look at the path of this shot when played with stun, you might think that to enable the cue ball to get here, we would need to widen the angle using some right hand side. However, we could far more easily play this shot with a little bit of backspin, which would bring the cue ball into the cushion at a shallower angle and achieve the same position. Or you might think that to narrow the angle to get the cue ball here, we would need to play with left hand side to check the cue ball onto this line. Again, we could far more easily just play the shot with some topspin to push the cue ball into the cushion sooner, creating a more narrow angle. The final thing to remember is that side spin only really has an effect on the cue ball when it comes into contact with a cushion. If you are playing a shot where the cue ball won't reach a cushion, then it's pointless playing with side spin. All you'll be achieving is a spinning white ball and probably a missed pot. So let's have a look at why potting with side causes us problems. Because we're hitting towards the outside edge of the cue ball, the cue ball squirts out a little bit to the opposite side, shooting it off course from where we were aiming. The more side we use, the more pronounced this effect is. If we look at this simple straight shot played to the middle, with quite a lot of right hand side, the cue ball shoots out to the left, meaning that the object ball then misses the pocket to the right. If we play the shot with lots of left hand side, then the cue ball shoots out to the right with the object ball missing to the left of the pocket. So how do we go about correcting this so that we can apply side spin and still make the pot? As we saw, if you use lots of right hand side, the cue ball shoots out to the left. So that the cue ball still strikes the object ball where we originally intended, we need to aim a little to the right of the object ball. This means that when the cue ball is pushed off course, it then ends up where we wanted it. As you can see, this is all a little tricky, and it's very hard to judge how much to compensate for the offset of the shot. There are lots of factors that come into play as well, like how much side we use, how hard we hit the shot, the speed of the cloth, the quality of the balls, the distance between the balls, and the distance to the pocket. All of these things will have a bearing, making it very hard to judge. Because of this, it's probably best to stick to a few rules when deciding to use side. Firstly, as discussed, do I really need to use it, or can I get the cue ball where I want by using a different shot? Next, try to only use it when the object ball is fairly close to the pocket. The less distance it has to travel to the pocket, the less likely you are to miss. Also, try to only use it when the cue ball is fairly close to the object ball. Again, the less distance it has to travel, the less scope for error. Finally, use it sparingly. You don't always need to hit the cue ball with full side. A little side can go a long way. Thank you.